Oh, hey, honey. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, thanks for asking, honey. Here's a list of a couple things I want. I'd be happy with any of them. Oh, thank you. Mwah. What do you want for Christmas? We've been married for how long? Seven years. And we've been together for a total of... Sixteen years. And you still don't know me well enough to know what I want for Christmas. You're just hard to shop for. If I tell you what I want, then I won't be surprised. Fine, you're so weird. No, you're weird. I hate you. I hate you too. It's Christmas morning. I'm so excited. I picked out the perfect present. You're going to love it. I freaking hate it. So the reason we are here today to pick up some equipment, which we've actually already picked up and didn't die, so stay tuned for that, is um, my wife gave me authorization for Christmas. Can you describe what- Is this your Christmas present? I just bought my own Christmas present. Are you serious? Yeah. Can you describe what authorization is? Um, well, authorization is when you're allowed to purchase something. That something. you wouldn't otherwise be able to purchase without the uh, consent of your partner. Because what happened when we were kids is my dad purchased a 1997 Ford Explorer without authorization from our mom. But the good news is that Explorer eventually became your car. Yes. And then it became my car. So it got lots of use. But I'm pretty sure they didn't talk for like a month. There so. was, there was, well, there was a lot of loud talking and then <laughs> no talking. If I remember correctly, Richie Brothers, you just like give them your name and address and they give you like a $150,000 bidding limit, right? Yes. So that looks cool. Yep. Don't know what it does, but that's cool. Nuclear reactor, all this stuff. That thing on tank tracks, that bulldozer thing with the giant shredder, this used rocket launching <laughs> cylinder. You don't have to have a license for any of this. So it's funny when the lady at the gate says, you guys know where the office is, right? <laughs> and we said, yeah. So they do auctions in person too. And Alan just found where they're doing it. We went in there, there's a guy, an auctioneer in there doing his thing and nobody's in there. All, all by himself, right? It's a lonely, the life of an auctioneer is a lonely, lonely thing. Also, we wore the same shirt today. Oh, there's a red one. Did you get the red one? No, I got orange. Oh, the orange. So for whatever reason, there was Genie, JLG, and Skyjacker. And Genie and Skyjacker were all going for really expensive. And the one that I got was really cheap. I don't know why. All right, so we're looking for 65, 64. 6502. This is just like going to a Christmas tree farm and picking yeah. out the perfect Christmas tree. Yeah. Let's go pick out the perfect tree. Oh, is this her? Oh, yeah. Look at this girl. I got the integrated dual step, the pluggy plug. To drive it, you... It sounds right. Okay, I have no idea. Never driven one of these. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Nothing happens. Good to know. Well, you know, they say scissor lifts, uh, they have a lot of ups and downs. They're also oh, yeah. a lot like dress shirts. Button up, button down. But his buttons aren't working right now. Hey, Steven. Yeah. Do you even lift? <laughs> it goes up, though. Oh, oh, you got it, you got it. <laughs> this could take a minute. There's a semi coming. You can drive it now. I don't know if I've used this one yet, but this experience has had a lot of ups and downs so far. At no point at all did it seem like it was going to tip over on us and kill us. Well, good news, we didn't die. Uh, so we wound up winch to snatch block over there to lift, pulled it this way a little bit, and then it went right up. So, you know, problem solved. Flawless execution. So now we have to go pick up my bonus winnings, which I bid on some more stuff that I, well, I'm going to need. Uh, and the lady said they're approximately there, but she didn't really know. So we're probably just going to go drive around aimlessly for a while looking Can at stuff. Can we aimlessly drive past that RV over there? No. Oh.
Ooh. She's nice. That one, pre-owned. We're trying to find the workbenches. Where were they? That way? Way back up there, awesome, thank you. Also, I was bidding against you. Yeah, so in the realm of auction winnings, uh, so this one, it is it's at least, that looks more like, I don't know, three eighths inches. Yeah. It's, so this is going to be a welding table, which is why it looks so crappy. But this went for about 300 and each of those, one for 230 one for 160 Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like as much as the metal would cost no, to make it. This is $500 uh, just to buy the sheet of plate steel. Yeah. Yeah. Alan's put on the last strap, so we should be good to go. Oh. As high as it goes. Oh God. I know you got a little bit more. I got scared. <laughs> oh, the view is nice though. So we just found out that even if you buy something at auction, they may still be tracking you. It says track units. So we're just gonna kind of remove that problem. I don't really have any plans once I got out here. I just wanted to come out here. All right, you like heights, right? Oh God. So that's, that's kind of the reason we got this thing. I do not like the heights, so this is like, you know, safe and stuff, so we should be fine. It's a little wobbly. Oh, that wobbly. Oh. oh! There's still trees in the way. Okay, it's about as high as I want to go. You can go higher. Nope, nope. Oh, it can go up further. Look at that. Nope, 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 we're good. Let's stop going up now. Look, that's how, that's, that's Dear as, Lord, he's that's as high us. as it goes. Okay, down. It's not bad. Down. Is that, oh, we can't go down. Oh, no, the, the mailman. The mail's coming. No, he's got to deliver the mail. We're in the you way of the what? mailbox. I have never seen the top of a mail truck before. Oh, it's not working. Oh my God. No, it's really not working. It's not going down. Press the button. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It works again. It wasn't bad. Um, I would... Do you have a beer bong that long? <laughs> Two, three. Three, we're going three. That looks good. Now, so what happens? Did you turn it off? Yeah, I was just curious. Um, you know, for scientific purposes. So, in all in all seriousness, though, why would they put the key in the bottom? Because they knew you would be doing it. It's just, it's like putting a light switch on the outside of a bathroom. You just don't do it. Two thoughts. One, that thing will take a hand off. Two, you gotta take that beeper out of there. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh yes, there's an alarm right on there. <laughs> so it doesn't have to cut anything, just unplug it. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. No more alarm for you. So we're doing today, Alan. Steven was talking the other day about how one of the best moments of his life was when he bought a lift. And his son hasn't been able to experience buying a lift. So uh, we bought Ethan a lift today. So this is the part of the video where we unload a two post lift and don't break our backs, I think, or are you close breaking your back? Good news is last time we unloaded a lift at your house, um, my back hurt for like three weeks, but this is a different yeah, house and, yeah, a different lift. Me and we have this U-Haul dolly rated for like 300 pounds. Yeah, we're good. And this thing weighs like 1300 pounds, so it should be fine. God. She wants to go. Bingo! So, two posts, lift, delivered. Uh, the, uh, the workbenches and stuff, they all wound up over there. They'll, those two will probably go right there. That one will go somewhere else. But uh, for now, this is how it's gonna stay. We need to, you know, do some more stuff in here before this all gets in, installed. But it's was, here. Was, was this a little premature? Taking the advice in your garage. Just getting as the sun sets, it, it's getting a bit dim. Yeah. And on that note, the sun is setting on this year. Oh no! Time to go. There's like four more days. Mm, no. See you next year. 
Oh wait, hold on. I accidentally left my wallet up in that tree. This is oh, for tree that's not my wallet, it's just a leaf. You can well, go higher. I can go higher, but I think that's where we're going to leave it for today because that's as high as Steven wants to go. We're only like halfway as high as it goes. This is as high as it goes. We're barely off the ground. So, in the future we might fix this up, but it'll at least be used to finish off the shop and, oh god, dear lord. Stop that. Oh, here's the problem. Let's put the safety chain on. And we're going back down. It's not that safe. <laughs> so here's my thought process. This was owned by a rental company. A rental company that probably employed like a 19 year old making 12 bucks an hour to repair it. And then at some point that 19 year old decided it wasn't safe enough for rental customers. <laughs> Sent to an auction where it was passed over by many other purchasers until you made a low offer. <laughs> and now I'm 20 feet in the air dangling off the edge, right? Yep. There's nothing wrong with this. Take her away, boys. <laughs> Go for it.